Hello, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 as Hess. When we last ended our episode, we were in the middle of fighting Burgundy and their host of allies. Uh, they have a small group here that uh, is showing up to be no match for our big ally, France. Um, we are doing quite well here, so let's jump back into it. Let's get started. Our mission here is Ghent and Vlanderen. Uh, these two are in our home trade node of the English Channel. So that's kind of my thinking of why we're going to take those two. We've got some access requests here. Magdeburg and Hamdeburg, Hamburg. Oh, Brabant is ceding Loon to Burgundy. Okay, so Burgundy is growing <laughs> while we're fighting them in the war. Interesting. Ooh, wow. Siege ability or fort defense? I think we're going to have to go with siege ability considering we're on the attack. We don't need to take a mission. Okay, so let's review our enemies again. Bohemia and Brandenburg are our main threats, and oh, we've got a fortress being attacked. Speak of the devil, there's Bohemia. That's alright, Bohemia. You can uh, hang out in Frankfurt there, siege that. We'll finish up over here quick enough, and then uh, I think my buddy France will probably head over and pay you a visit. Who, can, who else can we call into this war? Savoy. I don't really think we need to. Although they do share a border with Burgundy. They could help me in the south, but really shouldn't need to. France has 40,000 troops down this way. We should be fine. Let's see, the siege is at 35%. Uh, East Frisia, thanks for helping out. There's my vassal, East Frisia. Sitting in the already occupied territory. <laughs> Thanks a lot. He's not been a very good ally. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to just annex him as a vassal. He's been pretty terrible. I've got my check mark on so he can attach to me. His military focus, I believe, is set to join me, but nothing. He's hiding from the enemies over here in his own land. There we go. France is on the move. France, if you could mop this guy up and then, uh, whoops, let's see if maybe you could head up there. Oh good, Vlanderen has fallen, and the Burgundian navy has emerged. That's a three transports. Alright, we'll mop those up. Um, what next? What next? Well, I guess we'll move along here to try to take the capital and then maybe work our way back. I don't think 17% is going to be enough war score to take the provinces we want. Hessen is now under attack. Yeah, France is on it. Nice job, France. I say that now, but you watch. Later on in the game, I'm going to regret having this gigantic French empire at my doorstep. My goodness. Come on, France. Move on up. Good. Split up. Let's see. Gain five years of separatism or lose. 50 military power. Eh, we have the power to give up. We're just separating our armies a little bit here to do a bit of carpet sieging. So we're at 20 war score. Is that enough to take these two? No. 
we need 26. Wow, it's going to cost a lot to core those two. These are some heavy provinces in here. High development. Well, that's why. Oh, wow. Burgundy mustered up about 12,000 troops. Uh, they made the mistake of going after France, but got to hand it to you, Burgundy. You're hanging in there. Let's see, we got some free diplomats. How's our opinion of, or I'm sorry, the Austrian opinion of us is high, so that's good. Um, what else? Our other, our other ally, Savoy, they like us too. Who else? Oh, that's right, I forgot about East Frisia. Oh, they're not too much of a fan of us, are they? We need to keep their... We're gonna need to improve their relation because I'd like to get to 190 so that we can uh, annex them. I thought about just feeding them, but I don't know. It is nice to have an, a vassal around that I can feed provinces to so I don't take too much overextension, but at this point it'd be nice to just have the bigger army to control, because where the heck is East Frisia? Okay, well at least they're with me now. Forty percent war score. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Okay, so we can take our two. Uh, I would kind of like to actually take Friesland to give to my vassal, at least right now. So maybe if I don't need either of these, maybe we'll just head up to Friesland. I'll mark this for France since he's not doing anything else. France, you take that. Forget about this one. Of course, he's heading up to Meppen now. Oh, France. What are you doing? That was an odd path that you just took. Better mission? Protect against Bavaria. Yeah, we'll probably end up with a bigger army. Full annexation. Rangusa will release Bosnia. Oh, hey, Bosnia. Where are you? There you are. Bosnia is brand, brand new and they hate us. Okay, well, you're too far away for me to worry about anyways. Well, there's Bohemia finally getting their butts kicked. All right, we're gonna be way over the limit here. We might, maybe we'll split in half and move along. I'm gonna consolidate so we don't use up all of our manpower. That's what this little button does here. It'll consolidate the regiments. So if you have two regiments with 500 in each, that will consolidate them into one regiment of a thousand, for example. That way you won't constantly be reinforcing and uh, you will lose total number of regiments, but like it says, it's consolidating and then uh, you can always make some more once you get that manpower back up. Hostile siege. Oh shoot, we lost all these because we stopped sieging this. I forgot about that. Alright, head back down. Alright, well we have Friesland now. So, and the Navy's under attack by Friesland, okay. So, snapshot here. Ah, shoot, it's a total annexation, so it's gonna have a bigger war score. Wait. 
What if I I want this to be occupied by East Frisia? Okay, I don't know if that changes how the war score is determined. Give that to East Frisia. No, it's not. Okay, we're gonna need to continue on then, because I do want that. Let's forge ahead. Nice job, Navy. How are we looking? Good? Good. Let's see. Uh, of course, he took that. I'll siege this fort, and then I'll split you up. So that we can get some of these other provinces. Okay. War is going well. Very nice. We can probably just, uh, Turn these guys in, and these guys, I guess let's just continue on your merchant mission, this channel, and Lubeck, up here and beat up Friesland again. Sneaky bastard came back in. We're way over on our... Get out of here, Friesland. I don't want a peace offer. We're way over on our admin tech. Same with the military. I'll probably use that to build up our development. Okay. Once this guy gets into... Oh, shoot. I guess I can't. I'll just leave that. I wanted to take my general off of these guys. How did he? How did he get that back already? Oh my gosh! I sat there for like six months. He sieged it back in what? What was that? A month or two? Sometimes the computer sieges go super fast. Not sure I understand that. Uh, nice job, France. Way to get him. Wasted a lot of time there with uh, losing that again to Friesland. But while we have a second, let's go into our development. I'm going to use some of this military, or sorry, some of this admin tech and tech up some of our tax base. Not really tech up, I guess. Improve our development with some of this extra admin power. So we're gonna go to this guy, and so some of these you can see, whoop, there's the Siege of Friesland. Some of these you can see have a better impact than others, so I'm gonna try to stick with the ones that have a higher impact while costing us the least. There we go. Okay, 80% war score. That's got to be enough, right? Let's turn this over to East Frisia again. And if I take those two and give him, perfect. Alright, so we will get Ghent, we will get Vlanderen, 
And Friesland will go to East Frisia. Anything else? We do have a claim on Brabant. And we could take it, but my gosh, would that be a lot. Um, I think that's plenty right now. This is the war goal. Um, anything else we could make them do? Release Brabant. Release Normandy. Oh, we could have them release Normandy. That might be cute. Picardy's even closer. We should have them release Picardy. Can we... We don't have enough... We're taking too much to humiliate. It would be nice to humiliate them. Maybe we'll have them release Picardy. That could be a vassal coming up. Okay. Anything else? Should we take a few ducats? We'll just take a couple. Very good. Nice job. Let's see, we gained 31 expansion, or sorry, aggressive expansion, 16 prestige, 18 power projection. Not bad, not bad. Oh, and we can no longer be a rival with Bohemia. All right, interesting. Well, let's move these guys into our new territories. And let's start coring them. Uh, we need to either give up national tax modifier for 10 years or autonomy change for 10 years. Well, we'll give up the tax. All right, so let's core these two. And let's spend some of this military points on our development again. Boom, boom, boom. That's good for now. Okay, so I'm going to split up our army into two groups. Try to get our unrest down in the new provinces, which actually they're not too bad. Should be the... <coughs> that's the wrong religion. Both the wrong religion. We should eventually accept this Flemish culture, though. And I'm going to mothball our forts now that we're done fighting see if we can make a little bit more cash that should have bolstered our oh yeah we've got plenty more ships to make so let's increase let's make some more merchant ships for our fleet uh, I'm gonna mothball these guys as well we don't need our heavy ships for now all right, successful war. Nice job, guys. Oh, what happened here? No, did you get it back? Oh, man, I totally missed it. What happened? You must have given this back, didn't you? You did. East Frisia accepted the demand for unlawful territory. Son of a bee. I should have just taken it. I forgot that they were in the Empire and all that crap. I'm allies with the Empire, which is why he does not ask me to do that. I thought because he was my vassal, he wouldn't ask him to do that either. Clearly, that is not the case. Dang. Well, we have enough to get our colony now. That's good news. This actually might be a decent spot to stop. Well, let's get our let's get our colony started. We're going to increase our colonial range. Very nice, very nice. Now, we should be able to reach this coast of this island which was once Greenland or Iceland. Uh, and now, I think all of this is still out of range. Correct. I want I really want to go up this way. And 
it's 660 and we can only get 637. So we're going to take one of these. Uh, I guess this one that has five development. And we're going to send our colonist. Oh, and we have more troops than Bavaria without trying because I guess Bavaria must have lost some. Establish a colony in Relifari. Where is that? Relifari. Oh, shoot. Why wouldn't I just take that one? What do I get when I do it? Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, let's recall him. Let's take the mission for Relifari then. Why not? Oh, it's even better. Alright, great. Do it. Well, same development, but your tax base is higher rather than production. Alright. Um, I think I'm still going to put off doing the military tech. I think I'm going to keep doing the development. Let's see. Let's increase some of these. Okay, so we have our colonist heading up this way. Very nice, very nice. And I think that's a good place to stop. When we return, I will organize our new merchant fleet and uh, we will take care of our new colony, hopefully, with the ultimate goal of colonizing the new world over here. Thanks for joining, guys, and I uh, hope you join me next time. Have a good one.